function and today we are looking at fractions mm. okay which sounds like something totally brand new but I'm sure you're gonna get it's it. It's not, we do it all the we time in our time. daily life, don't Absolutely. we? <laughs> right, so part one. So for the rest of the week, we are going to look at fractions. So this is part one. How can we recognize halves oh. of shapes? So now, are you starting to think, ah, oh, I know about yeah, halving. You've all heard the word half. Yeah, fantastic. Or I'm going to half something. You've definitely all heard those words. It just comes under the name of fractions. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's go to the next right one. Then. First job then for you to do yes. at home, can you find yourself a piece of paper? Yes. And then I want you to have a go at folding it in, here you go, here's an example, folding it in half. Mm, there might be more than it? one way of doing it. There might be. Have a go now. Okay, oh, let's have a look. Mm, oh, people have folded it in two different ways. Can you see that, Miss Clayton? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Can you help me? Well, that? some people have folded it this way in half, so they've gone from top to bottom. Yes, like, like, like a this. card, like you're making a card. Yeah, exactly. Because that's in half. Yes. Because you've got this half and this half that makes the whole. Yes. But some people have folded it this way. Ooh. <laughs> Could do with something to lean on. This way, long ways, length ways. Yes, it's that's still a good half. Idea, children. Can you see when I fold it out, it's still half. Yes. We've got the same amount on that side and the same amount on that side, making the whole. So it's two halves that way as well. So we could do it that way, like a card. And then we could do it length ways as well in half. Fantastic. Well done, well everyone. Well done, everyone. Superstar, so that shows already, Miss Evett, that they know. They know how to half is. Yes, they do. Well done. Fantastic. So it says, how did you do this? We've just been through that. Was is there more than one? There way? was, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah, there was. There were two ways. Fantastic. So when we split something in half, we make two, two. equal parts. Now, I think the key word in that is. Mm. Equal. And what does equal mean, children? I go on about this all the time, and I'm sure Miss Evett does as well. It means the same. You've got it. So both sides have got to be the same. Really? Can they you see it? I've folded the piece of paper into two parts here. I've got one part here, mm. two parts here, but they're not equal no. because this part is far, far bigger. bigger than this part. They've got to be the same. They've got to be equal. And we've got to that. think about, it's a little bit like sharing, isn't it? It is like sharing, sharing really, so yeah. So if we had a pizza and we wanted to share it. It's got to be fair. I don't want Miss Evan having the bigger piece. Because no. I if like it's half, pizza. it's got to be straight down the middle. Yes. Half, okay. fair. It's got to be fair, equal, the same. They all mean the same things. So let's have a look. So it's been split down the middle. Our square Chopped shape. In half. And it's got two equal parts. And the two equal parts make a whole. Oh, fantastic. Really? Oh, we've got a bit of an activity to have a go at yeah. here. We've got to match the shape to its other half. Mm. Let's have a look at this first one. Yes. Where's that one going to go? Mm. It looks like half of a... What kind of shape? Yeah, it's half of a circle. Where's the other half? Can you see it, Miss Clayton? Now, a circle hasn't got any vertices, has no, it? it has and it's not straight, it's round. And the only round half mm. that I can see is this one here. And actually a circle, you should be able to half it anywhere, really. Yeah. As long as it goes through the middle of the circle, yeah. it doesn't matter, does it? It can be long, it can be like horizontal, yeah. vertical, can't it? it can be diagonal. Yeah, lots absolutely. Of ways. So there's our circle. So shall we see if that pops up? There we go. There. Okay. The next one then. Ooh. Mm. What shape does that remind you of, children? It looks like a tall, pointy one. Like a triangle. Well really? done. Yeah, well done. Ooh, can you see the other see. half? Oh, I've spotted it. Go on, then, Miss Eddie. It's right down here in the corner. Fantastic. Did you get it at home? Oh, sorry, I'm hiding Fantastic. it there. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, okay, next. Oh, this. Mm. We haven't looked at that shape yet, no. I don't think, actually. We haven't, have we? But it looks as if it's going to have one, two, three. 
I reckon it's gonna have four, four sides. sides. Four sides. I think I can already spot the other and half. It kind of goes out at the bottom, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it flares out. Do at we the think bottom. it's this one? Yeah, Do you think? Let's see. Brilliant. Yeah. Look, and last one. It looks a little bit like our piece of paper. It does. Our paper was a rectangle, but I think this one's a bit shorter. Yeah. I think it's a square. Yeah. So let's. Oh, it's the last one. The last that's left. The other half is just down there. There we go. Well, well done, done, everybody. Thank you for your help. Right there. So mm. now, let's have a look at these objects. And it says, how could we half these objects? Well, the balloon, could we not just chop it in half? No. Just chop it in half. Because if we chopped it in half this way, is that bit, the top bit, the same as the bottom bit? Oh, I see, I see what you mean now. It's got to be the same, remember, it's got to be mm. equal. What about if we chopped it down the middle lengthways? That would be a much better idea, mm. definitely. Down long, uh, long ways there, yeah. absolutely. That would work, definitely. because then it would chop this little bit at the bottom into two pieces as well, wouldn't it? It would be symmetrical, it would be the same on both sides. The same, yes. Ooh. What about the Ooh. pencil? Again, if we were to chop it lengthways, yes. oh, oh, then we've got the pointy bit on that side, but then this bit's the flat, flat bit. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's not the same, is it? No. Hmm. So, oh, maybe if we could go that way. Brilliant. Horizontally. Horizontally. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that would work well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Really? There you go. Chair. You can see in half there and in half there. So you've got okay. to really look at your yeah. object, haven't you, before you half it, to make sure that it's fair, to make sure that it's equal. Yeah, because some, like it says, there's only one way of halving yeah. there. Yeah. Like with our piece of paper, there were two ways. ways. That was because our piece of paper was very symmetrical to start with, mm -hmm. but these shapes, these objects are quite harder. Yes, they're unusual They shapes, are, they're they? objects that we find around and they're not always perfect, mm. are they? So, these objects, now then, so we've got a donut here. Mm. Now I remember, we said it said earlier, when we had a circle. Oh, that's a circle, that's a circle. really, the we face could do of it. it. lots of different ways. So, shall I get my pen and have mm -hmm. a little go? There Let's have go. a try. So, I could definitely split it down, yeah, straight, straight down, down the middle. middle. So, we could go, whoop, yeah. down the middle. And we could do it horizontally as well. Yes, I could go there. Yeah. What about if you started here and went Ooh. this way? It's still through the middle. Yeah. Have a look, so is this part oh, here the same? The same. It is, yeah. isn't it? So yeah. then we could go the other way as well. It's not perfectly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We might be better with the ruler. Probably, <laughs> okay. But yes, we can cut it in lots of different ways and Absolutely. it would still be equal. Yeah. The two parts would still be the same. It would be two halves making the whole. Oh, so let's have a look at the next one then, Miss Debbie. So, so you can chop this one down the middle. We, yeah. Because so. it's got the wrapper ends on both sides, hasn't ah, it? If it had it on one side. Yeah, not like the pencil. Yeah, it. the same on both. And, and we could do it horizontally. Oh, that's a bit wonky. <laughs> <wrong. laughs> I don't think there's any, I other, don't way. Think there's any other way. Because we went diagonally on this one, you'd have part of the wrapper on that side. A part of wrapper on. Oh, actually, it would be the same. It wouldn't be symmetrical. It would be it? symmetrical, but it probably would be half. Yes, yes definitely. Okay. Yeah, because that half would be the same as that half. It's yeah. just different. Like it's not symmetrical, but Fantastic. it would still be the same amount. Yes, yeah. there's lots of different ways, isn't there? So you've got to look at your objects carefully just to make sure. So oh, oh, sorry, that it's happens all the time the when we go into the pen. It's the That's pen. it. Something we've got to think about though, in our daily life, for example, mm. if we were chopping an apple, there might be a leaf on the apple. If we chop it in half, that leaf sometimes will end up on one side of the half, one side of the apple. That doesn't mean that the apple's not being chopped mm. in half. It's just something that happens with objects, okay? With a shape, it's nice and easy because we don't have those things like little leaves poking yes. out of our shapes. But with everyday objects, so maybe when you're cutting a cake, there might be a really nice um, topping on one side yeah. of the cake. There might be like a little icing topping, but it yeah. might not always be on both sides of the cake. But the cake is still, still in half, yeah. okay? Just something to bear in mind. Definitely. Okay then, so let's have a little look at task number one. So this task is all about X exploring shape, exploring halving of objects, shapes, whatever you can. It's a fun task, I a think. A really nice one. I love it when we can use the word explore mm. because it makes us feel like we're going on a bit of an adventure. Yeah, absolutely. We're having a bit of freedom. There's choice. There's, There's choice. choice, yes. So if you've got Play-Doh at home,
comb, like this picture here, you might want to roll the Play-Doh into some shapes, mm -hmm. then you might want to cut it in half, have a little practice, oh, can I cut it in half that way, mm -hmm. can I cut it in half that way, have mm -hmm. a little try. You might have fruit at home yes. that you cut into halves, Absolutely. you might have cakes, cookies, there's yeah. loads of different things that you, you could use at home. You might be making a pizza for your lunch. Oh, that would be nice. Very nice. Yes. Sounds like a great idea to me. So that's task number one, exploring, having a go at halving anything that you have got at home, okay, or at school, wherever you are, yeah. wherever you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's have a look at these shapes. Yes. It says, which shapes have been halved? correctly so remember that means that they've got to be two equal parts yes the so same okay. lovely let's have a look at the first one then so i'm thinking if this was a nice pizza mm. and it's a nice circle shape and it was cut like that would it be fair i think so if i had that bit and you had that bit yeah i think so i'll be cross about that yeah that looks good to me does it look good to you guys yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Let's yeah. look at the next one. Okay, this one there, mm. well, at the top of the shape here, it's been tapered up and here yeah. it flares out. So actually, there's more here, there's isn't there? there? So if, if you had that bit, mm. that wouldn't be it fair. It wouldn't be fair. So that one has not been half correctly. But that one to be half correctly, it would have to go down vertically, it wouldn't would. it? It would. It's just, it's gone the wrong way. So Horizontal's it, not it going can to work. be halved. Yeah, it can. It's not that that shape can't be halved, it can. It's, it's just not done wrong correctly. Way. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this triangle. So, does that look the same as that? It's not identical, is no. it? No. So, again, it's not been halved yeah. correctly. It can be halved vertically, yes. but it hasn't been halved correctly. No. Look, let's have a look not at the square one. then. I think yeah. that looks fair to me. That looks pretty good to me. Two equal look good parts to making a hole. Absolutely, you can go that. You could go that you way could. as well. Absolutely. But the way they've done it, yeah, that's half correct. That's right. So we think the circle and the square. Shall we check? Ready? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well it? done, guys. Superstars. Okay. Okay. So this time we've got to mm. match the pictures to whether they show half or, or not. Not half. Mm. Let's have a look at the first yes. one. So this one. Okay. So it's been split in half. And it's been coloured, the half mm -hmm. of it's been coloured. So, yeah, do we think yeah, that's two half? equal parts? Fabulous. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Next one. Okay. Oh, well, this one has been split into four pieces. Yes. So, straight away, I know that's not right because half is into two equal mm. pieces. That's got yeah. four pieces. It has. And that is the half line, isn't it? Mm. There. So, it would have to be, so all, have to be of all of that, that yeah. side because, no, that's not mm. right, is it? We'll be finding out about that on Friday, actually. We will. There's Absolutely. a bit of a sneaky, um, sneak preview. Yes. <laughs> so, so, that is not, not half. half. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Oh, that, does that look fair? Does that look equal? No, they're shouting at us to say no, it does I'd not. I'd be very pleased if I got that piece. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is definitely no. not. And there's three part. pieces. Yes, that's It's got to be right. two, 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 equal parts. two equal parts. Lovely. Okay, so, then so that one's going to be not, not half the square. And then we've got one left here. Yeah. Oh, it's got four pieces. Yeah. So it can't be right then, can it? Four pieces, no, that can't be right. Oh, someone's shouting at me. No. Have I gone wrong? Oh, because well, it's got four pieces, but two of them have been shaded in. And that is the same. And actually, as half. it is, isn't it? That's the same as half. These two red ones here are the same. It's equal. There's two equal two parts. Equal. Even though it's been chopped into four pieces, yes. there's still two equal parts. Yes. Oh, that was a sneaky, tricky that one. That was a tricky it one. It really had me, that one did. So, this is a bit of a top clue mm. for your next task okay so don't forget what we've just done here remember that for when you're doing your activity because it will really help mm, you don't get tricked like no. i do watch out for those sneaky shapes trying to capture sight and then finally just to give you a bit of a, a clue bit of a heads up for some challenges mm. that are going to be coming up they're next. all going to do the challenges Mr. they Peter. are absolutely i know you all are so this little girl is saying all of the above objects have been split in half correctly. So she's saying, yep, yeah, they've all been split in half. And she's asking you, do you agree? Do you think that the melon has been split in half, the grapes have been split in half, the orange has been split in half, and the pear, have they all been halved correctly? correctly. So you need to say either yes, I agree, mm -hmm. or no, yeah. I don't agree. And then after that, are you done then? No. Then what it's we got saying, to remember? Do you agree? Explain. We want to know 
and why? So use that because that conjunction that we really, really like <laughs> to explain or so or whatever you can use to explain, okay? So have a little bit of thinking time now and then give us a thumbs up if you agree and a thumbs down if you don't agree. Should we count them down? You ready? Five, Five, four, three, two, one. one. Show us. Mm. Do you think, yes, they've been hard correctly or no, they haven't? I think there's more thumbs down. The majority of them yeah, are saying. there's more thumbs down. I wonder why. why. Yeah, why? Tell us why. If you don't think so, which piece which of truth, truth hasn't been hard correctly? I can hear some of them saying, mm. it's the pear! It is the pear, isn't it? Oh, so this one has, hasn't it? Because they're two equal mm. parts, two equal parts, two equal parts. Uh, if, that is not two equal if parts. If we did it vertically, it would be. And it doesn't matter that the leaf's on one side, because we're not going to eat the leaf, are we? It doesn't matter. Exactly. Okay, but this way, this bit down here, there's going to be lots more pear for someone to eat there. That's not fair, is it? So we would answer that by saying, no, I don't agree because the pear has been hard the wrong yeah, way. Absolutely. Okay, full stop. You might even then expand on that and say, I know this because half has to be two <laughs> equal parts and the pear has not got two equal parts. One part is bigger than the other. Okay, yeah, and we know that you can all explain that to us, mm. which is exactly what we want you to do. You might at home have your challenge cards and you might explain yourself to a grown up. Yeah. That's fine. If you, you find it to write really it down. hard, really tricky to write it down, as long as you're explaining why to yeah. a grown up, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. Okay, so I know you can all challenge yourselves and answer some questions just like this one, can't you? Yeah, fantastic. So, task number two, like we said, matching the ones that have been split in half and the ones that have not been split in half, okay? Watch out for those tricky ones. So you can cut them, you can stick them, you can draw your own, that's yep, absolutely that's fine. fine. And then there's just another page of those as well, okay? So recognising the halves and the not halves, okay? Yes, yeah, so we've got a cut and stick one there and then this one's just been recognition. A matching or like a colouring yeah. thing. And then finally, the thing that we've been on about is your challenges. So there might be problems to solve, those reasoning questions, which is all about why. explaining. Yep. Yes, okay? So have fun with halving, guys. We can't wait to see your brilliant work. See you Bye. later.